Okay class, we are going to continue for the subtopic 1.1 indices, right? Okay, look at example 1, right? Some numbers can be written in index form, right? So we are going to express this number, right, in index form. Okay, look at the first one, look at 1a, so 64 can also be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, right? 6 times, right? So, this is equivalent to 2 to the power of 6. So, 64 can be written as 2 to the power of 6 in index form. Okay, look at B, 1 to 5. So, 1 to 5 can be written as 5 times 5 times 5. So, this is equivalent to 5 to the power of 3. Alright. So, 1 to 5 can be written as 5 to the power of 3. Alright. Okay. Next time, you will need to try C class. Alright. Okay. So, now, uh, let us look at D. Alright. So, we have 2 to the power of 3. Okay. Look at here. So, we are going to, find, to write the following in the form of indices. So, we have the same base here, class. So, we have 2, 2, 2, 2, right? By using the properties, we are going to combine all the terms together since they have the same base. So, we have 2 to the power of 3 plus 7 minus 4 plus 9. So, therefore, we can write it as 2 to the power of 15. Alright, so you can try to do this one class. Alright, okay. Look at F. Alright, we have two base here. So we have 5, alright, and 2. So we need to combine it separately. Alright, first we combine the first base. So we will have 5 to the power of 2 plus 7. Multiply with the other base, 2 to the power of 5 plus 3. So, we are left with 5 to the power of 9 multiply with 2 to the power of 8. Alright. Okay. So, that's all. Thank you.